Hello artists, I'm Marina Granger and today I'm going to teach you the Marina method. I'm just going to introduce it to you. Now it is a method that I have developed after working with artists for many years. I worked in the New York City art world for 15 years and realized that the landscape of the art world is shifting and I wanted to be a part of the new landscape in a different way. So I created a company that helps artists navigate the art world. With the internet, this is the biggest massive shift in the art world because you know I've seen it through uh, post 9-11 here in New York City and I've also seen it past the stock market crash but nothing was so impactful or powerful like the internet, right? It's always kind of been there you know, since the early aughts, late 90s. But what really is amazing is that now you don't really need gatekeepers in the same way. What you can do is learn how to present yourself online so that you can get working with the gatekeepers you really care about right now. You don't, you could leap into a different world. Now, whether you're an artist who's just starting out or you are an artist who has been working for a long time but you know you feel like you have plateaued this method will help you succeed and when I say succeed it's so important for you to know what your goals are is it visibility is it sales is it both is it to build a legacy what is your priority right because you want to be sure that you are approaching your career with a goal in mind. If you just say, I want to be successful, but you're not articulating how, it's very difficult for you to start pointing the needle in the right direction. So artists that I've worked with have started to point the needle in the right direction. Um, many of them have gotten over these massive um, plateaus, you know. Uh, one artist that I worked with had a massive, like she had a dry spell and she was pretty um, well known. And so what she did was implemented a lot of the things in my method and suddenly made a $40,000 sale. Um, another artist has been working on her career and just been trying to make the leap to get into museums and using my method she has asserted herself into a museum exhibition that features her work alongside just a couple other artists so that she is really center stage or almost there and you know, these things don't happen overnight, but you need to be aware of how to get there. And so let me just introduce this Marina method to you, okay? So the first part is you need to know what your intention is. If you know what your intention is, right? Why are you making the work? Why is it important? Then you're gonna be very clear at articulating why it's important that you are making the work, meaning what does your perspective add to it? And when that is the case, it becomes a unique work of art. And when that is the case, then you start to connect with people based on this um, intention, right? You start to connect with people who care about your intention, who want to support you either by buying your work, showing your work, or talking about your work. Now, the second point in the Marina method is your mindset. So tell me, how many times have you heard the term starving artist? This is one of the most uh, terrible things you could do is listen to this, right? To hear it, even as a young kid, now, we create a lot of obstacles for ourselves because we don't like to give ourselves permission, right? We want to hear, we're, we're trained from a young age to respect authority. 
you know, whatever your parents say to you, you have to see that as authority. And when they say, oh, you know, being an artist is a really good hobby or being an artist is, um, you know, you're just going to be a starving artist, then we hear this voice of authority and we search for it throughout our careers um, from, you know, gatekeepers, so to speak, gallery directors, art experts of any sort, consultants, and we listen for them to tell us that our work is good enough. Let me tell you, dear artists, you are the only one who needs to give yourself permission to believe that your work is good enough. And you are the only one who can tell yourself that it's okay to make money off your work. So working on your mindset is super critical. Now, once you have your intention and your mindset nailed down, the next thing you want to do is work on your presentation. Now, we're living in the digital age. We're living in the digital age of marketing. And that means that you need to know how to merchandise your work, right? How are you going to present it? Look, it seems pretty clinical. It might even seem commercial to think about it this way. But even if you're a conceptual artist and all you want to do is get an article into art forum that talks all about your work, you need to know how to present yourself that way online. What are your target audience looking for, right? So presentation with your website and how you interact and show your work on social media is so important. One thing that is critical to your presentation is knowing your intention and giving yourself permission to be successful. But also, on a very basic level, we need to know what it feels like to be around your work, even if we're looking at it online. So what is the texture? How big is it? What does it feel like to be around it? If it's an installation, how can you immerse us in it while, you know, through our computer screen or through our mobile device, right? Now that you have, you know, your intention, your mindset, and your presentation down, you really need to know how to take action. And that action circles back to what your goals are. You really, really need to know what your priorities are so that you can take the right actions. If your priority is to sell your work, then you need to target an audience that will buy your work. If your priority is to show your work, then you need to target an audience that will talk about your work and show your work and spread ideas about your work. Now, again, this method is an easy four-step method, but it does take time. And so in this little YouTube series, I'm going to start to introduce every single one of these points to you so that you can start pivoting your career and pointing the needle in the right direction.